What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. My name is Zach Curtis and today's video I'm gonna walk you guys through my bow setup. So right now I have a Hoyt Alpha Max 32. Um, it's a few years older. I believe it's a 2009 bow. Um, currently right now this bow was something that um, was kind of given to me to get into to shooting um it's definitely a really nice bow and it's been incredible to you know pull back shoot some arrows at the bag but as i get into this sport i'm really starting to realize what i like what i don't like about the bow um so i'm going to start with the cams and the mods so right now this bow is set up for about a 30 inch draw length uh, i took it into a shop a couple days ago and they measured me they looked at the bow and they said that uh, my draw length is 28 so right now this bow is set up two inches longer than it should be and so if you can tell when i pull it back my release is pretty far back from uh you know where it should be if i was looking down the bow right now really want the the corner of that um the release right here kind of at the the end of your mouth so already setting myself up for failure essentially if i'm going to get into hunting and shooting targets so that is the first thing that i'm gonna kind of upgrade about this bow is i went on ebay and found some new mods to um, size this bow down to a 28 inch draw length and so string's good gonna replace the string though um Really, there was no phrase, just needed some wax on it. But if I'm gonna have it in there, have it taken apart, I'm gonna go ahead and have them just update the string just so it's something that I don't have to worry about long term. Um, going into kind of my setup right now. So, right now I have a True Fire release, uh, something that I found on Amazon, I believe, or Walmart. And to be honest, not bad for getting into shooting. I know that the, um, a lot of people use kind of the knuckle ones to, to pull back and I would like to try that one out. But for now, this is kind of what I had. I'm pretty sure it was like 20, 30 bucks. So not too expensive to get into shooting. And then I have um, a three pin sight here. So set up at 10, 15, and I believe 30 yards. Um, when I get the new strings and mods put onto the bow, I'm gonna, actually sight the bow in so i know exactly how far apart my pins are uh, when it comes to shooting on the range and then my arrow rest is just kind of an old school um, riser when i pull it back the bow will rise up and sits on this bow to be honest with you i don't really like this because if i don't pull it back or if the bow kind of or the arrow jumps around a little bit it'll fall off and it's still notched back here but the arrow might be you know off the bow completely and just for safety reasons, I don't really like it. So I'm gonna get a riser, like a fork riser. So when I pull it back, it'll pull it up so that arrow has nowhere to slide off the side. Um, and yeah, so right now this bow, I wouldn't really say it's set up for me, but it's something that I pull back and shoot at the bag and feel comfortable with it. If I were to build out my own bow, um, one thing that I would change was this is a kind of a wood rest uh, for your hand and so if any moisture gets on it it's really slippery so to be honest with you don't really like it like it feels good in my hand but i don't like when it kind of moves around if i pull it back um, and also gonna check the weight when i go in there to get the strings redone i think that i would like to tone it down just a little but it just depends on what this is at um, and kind of what the recommendations are for getting that arrow speed up obviously the heavier the weight the faster the arrow is going to travel so um definitely want to know exactly what the weight of this bow is and then i think some kind of accessories that i would add is this bow is extremely loud so um i want to get a stabilizer i don't think that that really helps with the sound but wanting to be able to uh, you know get the stabilizer on there it was recommended six to eight inch stabilizer so I'm going to see what they have at the bow shop when I come in. But going back to the bow being extremely loud, um, it kind of has these vibrations. Um, I guess I don't even know what they were called. They're kind of shoved in between here to keep this from vibrating when you shoot the bow. 
but it is extremely loud and especially when the string hits this right here the the string stopper um just super loud so i'm gonna see if there's anything that i can add to this bow uh or tune it up to get the the vibration and the sound down because it's something that like honestly when that arrow releases from this bow it would spook a deer instantly and i have a feeling that it wouldn't become an ethical shot um the way i mean granted the arrow is traveling extremely fast but just i've heard newer bows and granted this is not a newer bow but i've heard newer bows and they're extremely quiet so that's something uh, that i'm going to ask the bow shop for advice on but yeah overall i really like this bow hoyt bow um something that really got me interested into archery and just being able to come out here shoot the bag some and uh, hopefully find a new hobby outside of fitness and kind of the endurance world so we're gonna pull back some arrows and walk you through just shooting the bow that's all this video is going to be about is just me shooting the bow kind of how i'm feeling about it and hopefully you guys enjoy <clears throat> all right so we're gonna shoot a couple arrows here put on my release and Grab the bow here, so I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of drizzling. There's some snow showers that have come through, so my rest on the bow is already getting a little slippery. And right now we're probably set up at, I'd probably say 10 yards. Just trying to get some practice arrows in. Um, the arrows that I use are pretty ch cheap. I got them at Sports and Warehouse. They're Easton 1820. Genesis archery so really they're tournament bows I would not use these for hunting I would just use them for shooting at the back here but getting better arrows and kind of researching the best types of heads and arrows and flight patterns and all that something that I'm gonna worry about down the road but for now just trying to pull back the the bow I'm not too worried about them the flight path on these are extremely wild um, there's sometimes that my arrow will be almost sideways into the bag, which um, definitely would not hunt with that. But pull this back here, and like I said, we're about 10 yards. jumped on that one a little bit so probably can't see it on the camera but it's a little high from center of the target um, but I think it was right when I pulled that release I jumped a little bit that's something that I've been working on and I've been getting a lot better at trying not to jump the the release but practice makes perfect Didn't jump that one, right in the center of the target. So I've gotten a lot of, um, I wouldn't say a lot, but I've gotten some comments on YouTube about, I take too long when I pull back and I'm holding for too long. And I would kind of agree with that, but then at the same time, the way that I think about it, if I was out hunting in a stand, you never know when you're gonna get that good shot. So being able to hold this bow back for a minute or two minutes is not bad when it comes to practice um, and so I think that obviously I'm not doing that because I'm trying to get a good shot but I'm just trying to do that with get comfortable holding back the bow and even if it's having to set my finger on the release for longer before I jump the gun uh, definitely um, like a mental mental note that I want to take note of uh, when it comes to shooting Mm-hmm. 
Looks like that one a uh, little high of center, but still wasn't a bad shot. And so a lot of times too, when I'm sitting there for a long time, my sight has a, uh, a level bubble in there. So if you can tell that I'm kind of going left to right with my bow, that's why is because I'm practicing on making sure that my bow is level before I pull that release back. All right, so four arrows into the bag. Um, that last clip, you could tell what I was talking about. Like with this arrow, it's definitely not straight into the bag. And so I can tell that my flight path is just a little weird on these arrows. So that's why I just would not feel comfortable taking a shot at anything. But this one right here, it felt really good when I pulled back. And I knew that, uh, so this was my first shot. The one that I said that I kind of jumped on knew that if i went down just a little bit that i would be good but i still feel like i released that trigger a little too fast and then this one felt the best obviously um because it was in the middle but for some reason i'm a little to the right or sorry to the left so I need to figure out if it's the way that i'm looking through my peep sight or if it's just that's how my uh my target or not my target my uh sights are set is kind of to be a little that way so maybe i need to shift it to the right some but first four arrows felt pretty good all right so we'll get a uh pov shot in here so we have four arrows about 10 yards away and we'll notch the first one here and see how it goes the light mist and rain has gone away so that's good Let's pull back this first one here. Uh, far right. So that last clip I was saying that my arrows were a little to the left there, so I was aiming a little more right to see how much farther right I needed to go. So if you can tell on the close-up shot, there's the bigger circle and then the smaller circle. And then at the top, it's kind of like a compass, how it has those little notches. So I'm trying to line up on the straight up and down notches. So that's how I'm trying to line my sights up right now to see if I'm aiming at that, do I need to go more left or more right? Um, so looks like I need to go just a tad bit farther to the left uh, since that one was pretty far to the right. So let's pull back this second one here. Uh, looks like the same a um, little bit too far to the right but I think on that one I felt that when I was pulling my release so if you can see here on the POV here my trigger this thing spins so I felt like I had to kind of like climb my my pointer finger over top of the the release here so I think that that's why I pulled that one a little bit too far to the right so let's see if we can get a little bit better here. A little high. 
Not really liking these groupings here. All right, let's get this last arrow notched here and see if we can get it better. For some reason, my release is still like twisting. Let's see here. Could also be that I'm just not a good shot, but we'll blame it on the release. That one looks a little better. I think it was still a little hot. Let's walk down here and see what we got here. So on the close up, you can probably see the flight pattern is a little goofy, but yeah, like this one, these two are pretty much straight up and down. Uh, this was my first one where I was saying like I was aiming at these right here. Um, so looks like I pushed all these a little too far to the right. Whereas last time they were a little too far to the left. So let's see if we can um, get these grouped in a little tighter. That was an awful noise too. All right. All right, I'm gonna end the video with four more arrows at the bag. Um, I would say that my shooting today has been okay. Uh, definitely had better days, definitely had worse days, but I'm starting to get a little squirrely with my shot, so I'm gonna wrap it up and head on home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, really, really starting to get into shooting my bow. It's something that has just been therapeutic. It's been different. It's been a hobby that I've been interested in for a while, but uh, you know, just told myself one day to pick up the bow. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, I would appreciate it if you guys would subscribe to the channel. Um, this is something that I'm gonna start pouring a lot of time and effort into and making just all types of content, whether it's fitness, bow related, or just everyday life, uh, and want to bring you guys along with the journey. So I will catch you guys in the next video and hopefully that you guys have a great new year. Went down to the river, washed my sins away. Pray, 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 and pray for another day. I went down to the river, washed my sins for free. The devil's on the other bank, staring back at me. I'm a dead man walk. I'm a dead man walking. I'm a dead man. Coffin, another nail for me. I gotta look pretty when I go down. Another nail in my coffin, can't you spare one more? I gotta look pretty when I'm knocking down heaven's door. I'm a dead man walking. I'm a dead man walking. I'm a dead man. I'm a dead man walking. I'm a dead man walking. I'm a dead man. You haven't seen a dead man talking, no, you haven't seen one yet. I'm a dead man walking. I'm a dead man walking. I'm a dead man walking. I'm a dead man walking.
dead man walking. I'm a dead man.